Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, the People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. And welcome back to the channel. And welcome to week four at Rock for Cash's prison as he's getting better and better with his foot. Uh, Moon Boot's going well, uh, just a matter of time now until we're back up and going. But with that being said, um, we're going to do a review of week five of the FNFL. But before we do that, we've got a song, Cash's song this week. No one's told him what it would uh, like to be played, so... He's gone back into the archives a little bit, a couple of years ago from uh, Eurovision 2019, uh, Zero Gravity by Kate miller Heidick. So yeah, it's a pretty good song, this one. So I'll have this playing in the background and you can sit back and enjoy that as we see what happened um, in the FNFL. So FNFL week five will now forever be known as the rapage round. Four of the six uh, games were absolute carnage. So we'll start with the first uh, rapage, and that was um, Rock for Cash up against Young Remix Killers. Rock for Cash, 69.68. Young Remix Killers, 128.98. So nearly a 60-point win there to Young Cav. Um, there was damage everywhere. Lamar Jackson went off, 39.88. Zeke Elliott, 24.2, Godwin 10.5, and Knox 19.2. For the cash, not too many uh, contributors. Mahomes had 16.98, Suckup had 10, and the Bears defense had 11. Yeah, cash still struggling, got so many players injured at the moment. He's just slowly falling down the ladder as normal. Um, in the next game, a uh, very, very close game this one. The Browns versus Team Mazza. The Browns 109.08 beat Team Mazza 102.98. So about a six-point six win there. Um, Team Mazza had his chances. He needed about 25 points from uh, Stefan Diggs and Tyreek Hill uh, in the Chiefs versus Buffalo game, but they can only get about 18 between them. Um, so for the Browns, their first win for the season, Williams had 32 and a half, Crosby 15, Hopkins 17, Jones 12, Tannehill 10. For Team Mazza, uh, Williams had 15, Robinson 21, Hill got 11, Schultz got 10, Cuckoo Kachu got 11, and the Panthers got 10. So the Mazza train just stopping at the Brown station a little bit too long. Uh, in the next game, this is rapage number two game. Shiva Kamini up against Smooth Criminal. Shiva Kamini, 149.84. Smooth Criminal, 98.70. So over 50 point win there to Shiva Kamini. He had great, great um, contributors across the board. Tom Brady, winding back the clock, 35.74. He had 411 yards and five touchdowns. Derek Henry, three touchdowns, scored 31. Hunt had two touchdowns, scored 23. Cooper had a touchdown, 13. Antonio Brown winding back the clock as well, two touchdowns, 27.9. For um, Smooth Criminal, Stafford had 15 and a half. Kamara had 29.6 with a couple of touchdowns. Keenan Allen, 10 and a half. And Greg Joseph, uh, 17. So. Not much to uh, scream about there for um, the smooth criminal. Shiva Kamini is just uh, on his winning way at the moment. Uh, in the next game, another close one. Little Waiters beat the dark side, 136.42 to 133.78. So less than three uh, points there uh, to Little Waiters. Um, the dark side flew home with Jonathan Taylor, got 30.4, but just not enough. Uh, Bill's got 20 for him, Fournette 11, Kelchi 14, Henderson 16, Press got 18. But for little waiters, uh, Hertz got 20, Chubb got 23, Swift 19, Metcalf 24, Chase 24, and the Cardinals defense 10. So good win there by little waiters. Uh, in the next game, this is rapage number three, Little River Giants, 162.52 to Moneymakers, 108.72. Um, before we go any further, I do need to make an apology to um, Little River Giants. I said that uh, anyone that drops Aaron Rodgers has no chance of winning well. He proved me wrong. 
Justin Herbert scored 40.82 to Aaron Rodgers 17.76. So it was a great choice there by the Little River Giant to actually play Justin Herbert. You also had Davis had 11, Eckler 30, Evans 26, Adams 32. For money makers, struggling at the moment, Patterson got 17, Madison 22, Cup 13, Jacobs 14, and the Cowboys defense 14. So a really good win there for Little River Giants. And in the final game, Rapage number four, Archie's All-Stars 164.9. Defeated Mitch's Mungles 92.46. So 72 point win there to Archie's All Stars. Um, contributors everywhere. Josh Allen, 36 and a half. I did say that Mahomes would rape him. Didn't even get the dick out. Uh, Gibson, 20.2. Samuel, 14.6. Jefferson, 15.9. Andrews, 36.2. Johnson, 14. Zerline, 14. For Mitch's mongrels, um, as soon as Barkley went off with 0.9, he was screwed. Murray got 11, Harris got 21, Lamb got 18, and Pittman got 17. So another great win there by the Alter boys. They seem to be on track now with three wins in a row. The Vaseline is working beautifully on the rectum area of the Alter boys by Father Cull, and he's doing really well at the moment. So just in recapping, Young Remix Killers beat Rock for Cash. The Browns beat Team Mazza. Shiva Kamini beat Smooth Criminal. Little Waiters beat The Dark Side. Little River Giants beat Money Makers. And Archie's All Stars beat Mitch's Mongrels. So we're going to have a quick look at the ladder, see what's going on there. I've got a couple of teams on four and one at the moment Little Waiters and Little River Giants. So the two Little Littles are right at the top. Uh, a few teams on three and two. Archie's All Stars are in third, Shiva's in fourth, Darkseid are in fifth, Team Mazza are in sixth, and Young Remix Killers are in seventh. On two and three, Money Makers and Rock for Cash in eighth and ninth spot. And then we got the final three teams on one win and four losses being Mitch's Mongrels, the Browns in 11th, and Smooth Criminal in 12th. So there you have it. There's the uh, review of week. Five of the uh, FNFL. Um, some interesting scores this week. Like I said, four rapages uh, and two close ones. So we'll just see what happens in uh, week six of the FNFL. And the cash will be back shortly with that uh, preview. With that, that's the cash out.